Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean from Shanother.com and in this video we are going to do a benchmarking test on Huawei P20 Pro smartphone. It comes with Green 970 processor, Mali G72 GPU, 6GB RAM, 128GB internal storage, 6.1 inch Full HD Plus screen along with Android 8.1 OS. So let's see how much all of these hardware specs are going to contribute in the benchmarking test scores of Huawei P20 Pro smartphone. So let's start it. The benchmarking applications we got today here they are and to do benchmarking basemark OS2, basemark X and Geekbench 4. We have already performed all of these tests and we are going to have a look on the benchmarking test score directly to save your time. So let's just start with and to do benchmarking. It's one of the most popular benchmarking application. And here is the score. It's 208,567. And this is a really good score. If you go to the individual test score tab, here you can see the performance of CPU, GPU, user interface, and memory as well. And you can see that how good Huawei P20 Pro is in terms of all of these tests compared to other smartphones. So you can see in CPU it's better than 94% of smartphones, in GPU 84, for user interface 97% and for memory 90%. And if you go back from here and go to the ranking tab, here you can compare the benchmarking test score of Huawei P20 Pro with other smartphones. So you can see that Huawei Honor V10 is at the first position with 213,381. Huawei Mate 10 Pro is at second position, third position is occupied by OnePlus 5T and at the sixth position is our device. As you can see that first, second and fourth position is occupied by Huawei smartphones and all of them got the exact same hardware that we got in our Huawei P20 Pro. But the score is slightly low compared to them and maybe it's because of the early review unit we got here in this testing. But still, the performance of Huawei P20 Pro is really nice and it's coming on the 6th position with 208,567. So this is all about the entry benchmarking. Let's go back from here and now let's have a look on Basemark OS 2. So the score is 3,457 and this is also a very nice score. You can have a look on the individual test scores as well for system memory graphics and web browsing. You can see that the maximum score is coming from the system and memory and then it goes down in graphics and web browsing. But our main concern is the overall score and it's 3457. If you watch our previous benchmarking videos of other flagship smartphones, you can compare the result of Huawei P20 Pro with them as well. And now let's have a look on Basemark X. It's a gaming benchmarking test so it gives the idea about the gaming capability and the GPU performance of the device. So the score is 43,784 and it's again a very good score. As I said if you watch our previous videos you can see that most of the flagship smartphones of this year and last year they are scoring around 42 to 45,000 and uh, Huawei P20 Pro scored 43,784 so this one is also a very nice benchmarking test score but we will perform a detailed gaming review of Huawei P20 Pro very soon to see how good it's going to perform in real life scenario not only in the benchmarking test. So this is all about the Basemark X and now let's have a look on Geekbench 4. So the score is 1914 for single core and 6741 for multi core. If you go to the single core tab, here you can compare the result with the rest of the smartphones. For some reason, the latest smartphones are not available in this list, but as you can see, that for single core performance of Huawei P20 Pro is really good, it's on the top position. And if you go to the multi core, here you can once again compare the result. You can see that. All of these smartphones, they are a bit old and that's why compared to them, the score of Huawei P20 Pro is really high. But it gives the idea that the performance of Huawei P20 Pro in Geekbench for benchmarking test is of flagship level as well. 
So in all of these benchmarking tests, performance of Huawei P20 Pro is really good. And as I said earlier as well, you can watch our previous videos of other flagship smartphones and then you can compare the result of Huawei P20 Pro with them to understand and know more about it. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands on videos like this. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.